welcome. Thank you for joining another night of the Dinner Table Project. Tonight, we have a wonderful Bringers family that are here volunteering to uh, show the ingredients and to cook a taco soup. I'm looking very forward to this. Uh, we have Miss Brangers, Mr. Brangers, we have Paxton and Cash. Uh, we thank you again for joining us. We want to remind you that Dinner Table Project is all about technology, putting and placing technology in the box that was provided to you. Also on here um, are talking tips. We want to encourage you as you're sitting around creating the dinner to um, and while you're eating to have open-ended discussions. Uh, some of the samples on here is, you know, uh, for example, uh, Paxton, describe a perfect day for you. What would be a perfect day? What would be your perfect day, Cash? I'll just, do what? Friday. A Friday. A Friday. Any, Friday. Any, Friday. Any, Friday. <laughs> Any Friday. Well, what do you get to do on Friday that makes it perfect? No. What do you get to do? Sleep. Sleep. No. <laughs> you still have school on? No, you don't have school on Fridays this year, do you? But you get to sleep. Yeah. yeah. My favorite day, my favorite day yeah. is, is on school day. School day. School day. Yes. What that is doing is encouraging more than just a yes and a no, and you really get to find out about each other in more depth. So children, students can ask their parents the same thing. Well, do you describe to me a perfect day? I bet your mama will know Long what to say. Beach walk. <laughs> exactly. So um, thank you for your time, and we will now turn it over to the Bringers family and their making of a taco soup. Hey, boys, y'all want to help me make some cornbread and taco soup? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who wants to help first? Me, me. You want to help? Look, we gotta first, we gotta grease the pan. Okay, because we're gonna make cornbread first, because then it'll cook, and then we'll make our taco soup in a little bit, okay? Okay. Okay, let's grease it up. You wanna try and grease mm -hmm. it? Okay, look, I'll put it down here. Spray the pan real good. Good job. Cash, you think you can get the rest of that? Yeah. Yeah? Can you get the rest of it for me? It's hard. It is kinda hard, ain't it? All right, good job, that's pretty good. Yeah. All right, All right. so now we're gonna preheat the oven. All right, so we're going to mix our cornbread. So we need a cup of flour. All right, so you wanna put it in? Mm -hmm. So we got a cup of flour. Put it all in there, good, so we got a cup. And now you need to stir it. Now we gotta stir it, well, we gotta put something else in there next. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we need a cup of cornbread Yellow cornmeal. Yellow cornmeal. Yellow cornmeal. Mommy, right. it's my turn. Is it your turn next? Mm -hmm. All right, now we need two yes. thirds cup of sugar. All right, Pax, your turn, baby. Yay. All right, so two thirds cup. So you see the two thirds? Mm -hmm. Right there, two thirds cup of sugar. Now we need about a teaspoon of salt. All right, a teaspoon of salt. That's not a teaspoon. That's not a teaspoon? Yeah, look. Let me show you. Teaspoon. One oh. teaspoon. Oh, yeah. Now we need three and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Mom, my okay. turn. Baking powder. Okay. Turn. So let's, okay, let's let Paxton do it since he needs to work on his counting. Okay. One. That's me working too. Oh, wow. That'll be two. <laughs> good. Okay. Good. Now we need oh, one more. Since your your third one didn't really make it in there very good. Okay. All right. Who wants to whisk it? Mixer, mixer, mix it. All right. That's great. Is it good, you think? It's good. You want to do a little bit more? Mm -hmm. Be careful. Don't spill okay. it out. All right. That's great. That's great. All right. Now we got to put our wet ingredients in, okay? So now we're going to put in our melted butter. It's about a third a cup. Okay. Kind of looks like an egg. You're right. Okay, now we need two eggs. Okay. 
One egg. And two egg snores. Actually, three egg snores. Three? No. How many eggs we got in there? Three. No. Look, that was just butter. How many eggs are in there, Cash? Two. two eggs. Okay, so we got two eggs. Now we need a cup of milk. 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 All right, Cash, where would a cup be on here? Right. All right. One cup. Stop. Are we there? Mm hmm Oh, good job, bub. All right, so this is for regular cornbread, but we're going to make our cornbread a little bit spicier and make it more like Mexican cornbread. All right, so we're going to put some corn. You need to hey, have some Cash, real you muscles that. for this. You need some big <laughs> muscles for that, that's for sure. Jump it in. All right, go throw that away for me, bud. All right, so let's mix it up. Now we need some cheese. Cheese, yep. cheese. All right, we need a cup, but because we're not professionals, we're just gonna say, eh, this is probably about a cup, right? Oh, so I'm gonna get a little bit of handful. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow, that may be, we're gonna have some cheesy <laughs> cornbread. More cheese, the better. The more cheese, the better. Okay, <laughs> look at that. That looks pretty good. What do you think? Mm, now, yummy. We, now, we could put jalapenos in this, but it is going to be too spicy. What do you think? Too I spicy? Don't like, I don't like hot. I don't like I know. You don't like hot things, so we're not going to put jalapenos in it, okay? Okay. Okay. So, now we're going to put this in here. Okay, we've already greased this up. No, I didn't. You, I know you did. You did a good job greasing it up. Mom, mm. we need... We need to Yeah. Okay, I think that's good, Bob. All right, I think we got it. All right, we're gonna put it in the oven, okay? We're gonna put it on for about 350, for about 30 minutes, okay? And while we're doing that, let's make some taco soup. All right, so while the cornbread is cooking, smelling good, we're gonna let that cook for about 20 minutes and then we'll sprinkle some more cheese on it, okay? Because we love cheesy cornbread. Okay, so while that is cooking, yes. let's have Dad uh, brown the meat. So let's do about two pounds today. Two pounds. Two pounds of meat. Hey, Paxton, how was your Valentine's party today? Good. Was it good? Mm -hmm. Did you have a lot of snacks and mm -hmm. treats? Mm -hmm. I see the glitter all over your face. Then we're going to, once it gets brown, we're going to put in the taco seasoning. Then we're gonna put some ranch seasoning. Then we're gonna put some chili beans. And we're gonna leave that undrained. Undrained? Undrained? What? what does that even mean? I don't even know. I know you don't know. I know. What does that mean? It isn't, the water isn't out of it. Very good. Yeah, we're gonna leave it undrained. Yeah. We're just gonna pour it straight in there, right? Okay, so then we're going to put in a can of pinto beans. And we are going to drain the pinto beans. So if we're draining the pinto beans, what does that mean? We're dumping out the water. Very good. You need one and a half cups of water. All right, then we're going to put some diced tomatoes in it. Then we're going to put a can of rutel. And then we're also going to put one can of corn. Brown in the meat. That looks good. Does that look great? Mm -hmm. I know. You might smell the cornbread cooking. Mm -hmm. it smells so good. All right, it's looking pretty brown. What do you think? You're gonna have the job of draining the fat. All right. All right, so we're gonna drain the fat as much as possible. You wanna put the taco seasoning in? Yeah. That's your favorite part, you love tacos. And it's Tuesday. Taco. Tuesday. 
Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Tuesday tacos. Put it in here. Yeah. Okay. Add a taco seasoning. Taco seasoning added. Put it all in there. That's looking good. Come here. You want to put it in here? You want to paint it? Mm -hmm. Paint the ranch on? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now we're going to put some of our pinto beans. I got you no salt. You're not about salt. All right. Now we're going to put the chili beans in here. We did not drain the chili beans. Diced tomatoes in here. Okay. I'm gonna put some corn. I'm gonna drain the corn. Dump it all. Dump it all without making a mess. Dump it all. There you go. <clears throat> all right. You want to do one more? You gonna put the rutella in? <laughs> Well, I had to kind of... No, I want to. Okay, put it carefully. Good job. Oh. There you go. All right. Let that cook. Sit and simmer until it's all good and warm. Yeah. Let that simmer. All right. Ooh, that looks good. That looks good, don't it? How much longer until it's done? How much longer until it's done? A little bit longer. Okay, we're gonna put some cheese. Sprinkle a little bit of cheese on our cornbread. Why? Why? Because we like it cheesy, right? Put it back in. Yep. Mm. And let that simmer. Okay. All right. Now look. I think it's done. You smell it? Does it smell yum? This was your favorite part of this cooking, okay? Making so thank messes. Making messes. Yes, mm. this is his favorite part. Okay, so... Can you be the Paxton monster that you were over here on the floor <laughs> and crumble? All right, that's good. All right, so we crumble ours. Then we put some of this. It looks good. Looks good. It looks yummy. We now just did a smith. You want to smell it? Okay, so look. Then we put that. Now, I like sour cream in mine. You probably don't. Do you like sour cream in yours? No. Dad does. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit of sour cream, a dollop of sour cream. Got so much of sour cream. A little bit of cheese. No, but yes. I, 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 would, I love cheese. I know you love cheese. Okay, so I love, this I love is done. Stuff. And I think I just heard the cornbread. Oh. Mommy, I would want to have the cornbread. You, I know you like that cornbread, don't you? Mm -hmm. oh, Careful. I would have the cornbread first. Okay. I'd really have the cornbread first. Okay. Right. Cornbread's looking good. Corn Cheese bread. is melted. Yeah. Okay, so let's it looks like <laughs> cake. It kind of does look like cake. All right. So I'm going to put mine right there. Mm. Oh, yummy. Yummy. Who's ready to eat? I'm yummy. ready. I'm hungry. Thank you very much, Bringers family, for such a wonderful recipe and doing a family yeah. activity. Did you all enjoy that? Yeah. yeah. I love your all's aprons. They yeah. make you a super cook, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Mr. Yeah, and Ms. Springers. Thank you for having us. Tony here with the Extension Office. She has a gift to give to you and to present for you coming out cool. and, and uh, volunteering your time and your family's time to uh, 
cook this wonderful awesome. meal for the dinner table project. Thank you so much. Hope that y'all could enjoy oh, awesome. it. Awesome. Got a pizza cutter in there, so. Ooh. Ooh. We need a pizza cutter. Yeah. Too. And this program is brought to you by Communicares Regional Prevention Center and uh, the Extension Office, the Cooperative Extension Office that is, and uh, many uh, Family Resource and Youth Service Centers. I guess that's what all we have for now. So have a great time and we'll see you next week. Cherish will be sending out a survey uh, for me for the parents that um, decided to participate. And once those are sent out and once they come back in, I will have an incentive gift for you filling it out and sending it back in to me. And I will um, drop those off to Cherish at Lakewood. And again, I thank y'all for participating um, in the dinner table project and we look forward to doing this again. Thank you. Welcome families to the Dinner Table Project. Tonight we have special guest Candace Daly with us. Miss Daly teaches at Cecilia Valley. She teaches art and music. And tonight's recipe is gonna be a spring dirt cake for your families. We hope you enjoy it. And thanks for joining us tonight. I'm going to be making a spring dirt cake. And these are our ingredients right here. Um, you are going to need vanilla pudding and then you're gonna need some type of Oreo cookie. If you really like something sweet, you can do the double stuff like I like or just the regular. And then you are also going to be needing some whipped cream. And then we are going to be making a topper to look like carrots. And we're just gonna be dipping some strawberries in some chocolate that is orange to make it look like carrots. And then you're also going to need milk as well, two cups for your pudding mix. And then you can also add little toppers and things to decorate your cake with. You can do little Easter candies. And so now we're gonna go ahead and get started. And I like to start off first with my strawberries. So then that way they can chill in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the little chocolates and everything melted in the microwave. All right, so now we have melted our chocolate in the microwave. You do it in intervals of 30 seconds, so that way it doesn't burn. And then you just mix it together. And then you are going to dip your strawberries in there. So that way you can make them look like little carrots. And a little trick that I like to do whenever I'm making chocolate covered strawberries is I stick a little toothpick up at the top. And then that way you can just dip it down into your chocolate and you're not tearing any of the little greenery up at the top especially since you want these to look like little carrots. And then you will just place them on wax paper or parchment paper. And then you can put them in the refrigerator and let them chill. And then also if you wanna get really creative and you wanna to try to give it like some texture or lines, you can take your spoon and you can just kind of drizzle some of that leftover chocolate and try to give your carrots some texture. All right, so now we are going to make um, our pudding and this is gonna be like the filling of our cake. And you are going to just put the packet in there. And then you're gonna add your two cups of cold milk. And you're not gonna use an actual like mixer or anything like that. You're gonna actually whisk it by hand. And you're gonna do this for about two minutes until it starts thickening up. And you'll kind of sit and think, I don't think that this is ever gonna get thick, but it eventually will. And you'll be able to fill it too against your, your whisk whenever it starts getting thicker. After you've got that whisk together, then you're just gonna set it aside and you can even put it in the refrigerator and let it chill too. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that set up a little bit and then later we'll add some Cool Whip to it. But for now, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're going to add our 
Oreo cookies to a Ziploc bag. And basically what we're gonna do is we are gonna crush these and you're gonna be making the crust and the different layers for your cake. And you can get real fancy and you can use a rolling pin or something like that, but I'm just using a plastic cup. And then I just take the end of it like this and I just hit each individual cookie. And you're wanting to try to make this look like dirt as much as possible. So you'll flip this over and get the other side. And then you can also take your cup too and then you can roll it. Flip it over. And right now this is just one pack of Oreos that's in there. So it kind of depends on how big you want your cake. The smaller the cake, then you're only gonna need probably one pack of cookies and then also one box of pudding as well. And that's what it looks like after you crunch it all up. So now we're gonna go back to our pudding and you can see now it's thickened up for you after you've let it kind of set there. And we're gonna be adding some whipped cream to this. And it all kind of depends on what your um, preference is with how creamy you want it. But I am just going to be doing about like three big tablespoons. Get it in there. And then you will just mix it together. And then your pudding cup color will be a little bit lighter now. So get that all mixed together really good. And then we can start building our cake and adding the layers. So now here's the fun part. So you're gonna get to layer it together. And I always like to start with the Oreos first. So it acts as like your crust. And it's like the dirt is at the bottom. And you can do this in like a pretty bowl or however you want to do it. You can put it in little mini cups, however you want to do it. And you can also put it in a flower pot too, which you'll see a little bit later how it looks. I put mine in a flower pot since it's a dirt cake. And so now you've got your first layer of the dirt and now you're gonna come with your pudding for your second layer. And then you're just gonna take it and spread it out like this so it covers all of the Oreos. And it may take you a few times. You'll have to come back and get a few spoonfuls. And this does not have to be pretty either. Okay, it's a dirt cake. So, so we've got our first layer with the pudding. And then now you're going to come back with your dirt. Or your Oreos. For your third layer. And try to spread those out even on top of your pudding so that way it all mixes together. And like I said, if you want your cake to be bigger and you want it to feed more people, then you need to probably get another box of pudding. I think this probably will be our last layer of pudding and then we will top it off with the dirt for our last top. Our last
best topping. So spread it all out nice and even. And I think that this cake kind of tastes like cookies and cream ice cream, especially after it sets a day or two. The flavors kind of mix together. And this is our last layer. If you need to always crush up more Oreos, you can. Just kind of spread it out nice and even. So that way it looks like dirt for the topping. And then now what you can do, you can come with your little carrots and you can set it on top. And you can kind of stick it in there to make it look like it's a little carrot sticking out of the dirt. And you can add like your favorite types of Easter candy. I like the little peeps. Set it with the carrot. And these are always my favorite at Easter time, the little hard shell Cadbury eggs. And then you can add those around it. And then there you go. There's your spring dirt cake. So this is the final product. And I decided to put my dirt cake in a flower pot um, since it is um, a dirt cake. But what I did was I just used like a re regular like Tupperware type container that would fit into my flower pot. And then that way I set it inside of that. And then you're also able to see the layers of your dirt cake if you do it in a clear container too. And then you can also use like a shovel to scoop it out with, or you can use um, spoons or spatulas, whichever. There it is. Hello, it's me again, Tony from the Hardin County Extension Office. And we are doing the dinner table project once again. And I would like to thank all the participants that came out tonight to prepare um, such delicious meals. Um, and desserts to go along with the meal. And also, I just wanted to mention about to make sure that you look on the Hardin County Extension Facebook page because there's always ex exciting things going on um, for adults on down to kids. And our family consumer science person, Dana Fentress, has some wonderful ideas for kids to do. So continue to look on there to see what she has to offer, not only that, but also with 4-H with Marla Stills and Stephanie Meredith. And once again, we like to thank all the participants for the dinner table project thus far. We have a couple of more weeks to, um, to go, so you might want to um, see about talking with Cheris about signing up or participating. It is such fun on a Tuesday night. We get to have the whole building to ourselves and cook and have fun. So I look forward to hearing from y'all. If there anything that I can do for you here at the Extension Office, just feel free to call and I will do my best to assist you. And if I don't know the answer, I can point you in the direction of someone that can. And y'all have a good night.